you wind the pieces up into a ball, you know, do you remember that magician that you retired last year at age 18? Harry Potter? Remember him? <laughs> 18. Harry Potter. What did he used to do with magic? Wand. Wand. I'm telling you as a professional, save your money. You don't need a magic wand. You can use a magic marker. <laughs> you know, Harry wasn't that funny, was it? You hold it like a magic wand, you wave it over the torn up pieces, you say, abracadabra. And if you do it right, the torn up pieces will go back together and become a whole paper net. Now, here's, here's the secret. Now, keep it between us, okay? Before you start this, and this is very important, kids, get yourself another nap. In fact, this is critical. If you forget everything else, remember that. Get another nap. You hold your hand like this. This is called palming. You hold your hand in a relaxed, natural position. You see somebody you know, give them a wave. They never wave back. I'm kidding about that. Look at how long this looks. If I don't tell you I have a second nap in, there's no reason to think that. You tear the second, the, the, the torn tear is going to keep the second one hidden. You want the pieces up into a ball, so at this point you've got two balls napping to keep track. This one's torn, this is the restore. To switch them, you use what we call misdirection. When you're reaching down for the magic wand or the magic marker or whatever, everyone's looking down here. Nobody even sees this. I did sloppy that time, but everyone's even looking up there, so it doesn't have to be real, real neat. You tell your story, you say, Abba Dabra, you unfold pieces. Again, I'm doing a sloppy the second time. But you unfold them, you keep the torn pieces hidden. Now, raise your hand if you look like magic the first time. Now, you guys are nice. You clap. If you're doing this for the first time, and the people start clapping for you, don't make this rookie mistake. Everybody clap real loud. Doesn't mean kids <laughs> If that happens, turn the magic marker around and hit the torn up pieces, really. To have a cadaver with feeling, have a cadaver, and the torn up pieces will go back together, and you're left clean at the end, and you didn't want to know. You didn't want to know. Except for me, you can't know. Help me, buddy. Hold it. Six. Do you need magic powers yourself a little bit? A little bit? No? Fussy? Mark, check that out. You want to come up here and check that out? Okay, okay, okay. Let's get a little fire over the house. Who's the, who's, who's the oldest of two? Yeah. Do you want to run down a little quick? Just yeah. to take one napkin? Now here's the deal though. Here's the deal with the napkin. Oh. No, come back. What's your name? Lisa? Kristen? Griffin. Griffin. Oh, what a cool name. Griffin. That is an awesome I'm name. Griffin. Yes. Yes. Look at the audience. Look over. Very few your very few audience, very important people here. Now I drop these. Now one of them is more magic than the other one. It could be that one, or it could be that one. Now I want you to count the three. I want you to run to the napkin if you think it's more magic. You pick it up and wait at the audience. Got it? One, two, three, go! What? <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault. I should have had a reversal. I'm totally mad at that. Come on, baby. Come back, Griffin, Griffin, come back. Now, I'll explain myself again. You look at that one, or you look at that one. Now, when I say go, pick up the napkin that you think is the most magic. Okay? Got it? I'm just going to get you in. Go! No! I didn't reverse that. He's right. I didn't whisper anything to him. Wait at the audience. Wait at the napkin at the audience. <laughs> okay. You can tell this now, you know, that he's a total random volunteer from the audience. Now, Griffin, that's the magic napkin. Here's the magic tube. The magic tube of doom. Mm -hmm. Aww. Ah. This is cute. Would you just kind of wink at anybody? Excellent. Now, put the magic napkin inside of the magic tube. So, okay, down here. Yes. Yeah. Ever, ever before came, or would you like? Is there your favorite word? What's your favorite word? What do you like saying? The letter B. My name's Bruce, that's good. The letter B. Say B. B. Okay, they have to hear it, and more importantly, the napkin has to hear it through the tube. Okay, yell out B now. B. Louder. 
But I'm running the camera. Okay, you're done. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is not. She had to join the app. She's the only journal in the magic business today. And she had to join the app because her inventing career went down the tubes. Thank you. She had that horrible gerbil cannon accident last December. Look! You didn't hear about it? No. Good. I shouldn't have brought it up. I shouldn't have brought it up. They told me a non disclosure. Don't bring it up. Let's go back in time. I know a lot of you don't have time for magic shows usually, but Twin City Museum, you get a magic show. But at that, every adult in here knows what I'm going to show you. It's a classic. This is how it was done 1,000 years ago in the country of China on a Tuesday. Now. 
，再整刀，就是我们这个，好，对不对？对不对？刚刚刚刚说到一点，在在这个剧里面，是他的父母，他给你演 history 的，他给你演 history， 这是一个 history museum， 他给你 history， 你忘了？你要记住，刚刚我也在这里说过，我没有 pay attention， 我有没有 ？Okay， now this kind of like leads into a little bit of depression. I'm sort of proud of. How do you sell the elephant from charging? Tigger's credit card. Who said that? Was it you up there? Okay. <laughs> now, that's a grand old elephant joke for video assistance. Um, so pop. Okay. Uh, you got the answer to that. So people believe he just randomly got the answer. You believe he's a random person. He's not a plant in the audience. Who well, person not a plant? Yeah, sit back. Um, he doesn't have any leaves, how can uh, he be a plant? Are you here? Who are you here? Those three and my wife. Is your wife? Is this your wife? Yes. Okay, do me a favor. Both of you come down here really quick. Just come down here. And you know that they're not in on this by the annoying expression on her face. So they're not with the magic show. It's just that this is like a psychic thing. You want to make sure that people know that they're random. Have you ever met before, man? You should grab that. Okay, come on over here. Yes, leap over the surface. What's your name? Kevin, would you stand here? What's your name? Belinda. Kevin and Belinda. We're going to find out if they're a mentor or not. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> oh, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. <laughs> We're going to use these very large cards that we can see them. 52 playing cards. They will be playing with a full deck. I'm just throwing these out to our audience. Like they're friends in the audience. Okay, these cards have already been shuffled and cut. <laughs> you don't have to that one either, are you? Okay. The cards match up. There's a match on each side, but they're going to get mixed up at the discretion of the audience. Audience is going to be Belinda's side. I'll see Lady go first. Just tell me to stop mixing up Belinda's cards. Stop. Okay? You stick out one finger, keep it in mind, and she'll come. Okay, I'm up for her. She's going to point to one of the half cards. Now see, she understands the assistant concept. She gets it. She was going to go with me on that. Great. Where were you really going? That's a flat thing around. Now that's your first legitimate choice right there. Do you comfortable with that? Okay? Okay. She sets up the conditions of the test for Kevin. Go straight to that, don't you? Okay. Now, make your mind a blank. I'm just throwing these out. What would you do know? I'm just got a lot of these easy balls here. Okay. Audience, tell me when. Now. Yeah. So a very vicious comment. Make it tell, right? And so you, she has no problem in your session. I will play a game here. I will look around. Just run your finger along and push down on what feels right. Okay, now he stopped at this one intuition box. Do you want to stand on that one or change your mind? Now I have to do the mind he has. He's going to change it. Do you have to Are you a okay. <laughs> I use everything. You never throw anything out over the years. I told you 30 years. Okay, so that's the end. Right. Now he went to the second one over here. I mean, he didn't know he was going to pick that one. Stay on that second, cho second choice? Yes. If this works, Kevin and Belinda, right in front of your eyes, psychic magic. If it just doesn't work, Kevin and Belinda, right in front of your eyes, <laughs> this is it. It's called becoming yourself. Magic concept. Kevin, how long have you and Belinda been married? Ten years? It only seems like ten years. See, that's that you can sell that. You can spin that. It only seems like ten years. We're still moving to the bottom. Now, there's a chance to recover the washer and dryer. I really haven't met. Look at that. Look at that. Every line, man. Look at it, look at it closely. Every line matches up. <laughs> look at that. Just don't please yourself, kid. Did you want me to turn it over? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids love it. It's building suspense. They're going to be as amazed as you are. The exact same car. 10 or 11 years doesn't matter. Here's a match. Here's a match. Right to the hub. Okay, you do that. Okay. Never worked with these kids before today. I was thinking what I'm going to do. You got to feel like what, what, 
what the audience members would be supposed to do with what. I think during when this, particularly in the 3D movies, they went on the script Are you really in the 3D movies? 3D, 3D movies? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Are you sure? Come on, dude. 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 Come on, See, when I was growing up, 3D was nothing. I'm sure some of you adults have cardboard glasses that gave you a headache. But 3D is here to stay. Put those on if you will. Put your name. He's awesome. Preston. Preston. Good name, Preston. The three colors, you were deciding what color you like the most. Just kind of run, run in front of your eyes, you decide, take your time. Now, you hold on to the ball of twine of doom. Okay, just the ball of twine. I wrap this myself. And put a little escape, a little hatch in it. Would you check it? Make sure there's nothing in there except string. Stick your finger in it. Make sure. Dig around it. It's just string, right? Just string. Okay. Can you check it out? Do you know it's with it? Now, the reason why I did that was to keep you really alert. You get nothing's in there. But would you, I can't be sure that you can be relaxed. Hold on to it, not drop. Hold on to it, just like that. Hold on to it, just like that. It's, it's pricey, right? Pricey. Stay right there, stay right there. Which color did you decide on? Green! Now are you sure you want to go with green? Okay. Pick up a point or two. Now, it's coming, it'll look like it's coming right at you. Grab my wrist, make sure it doesn't get away. Now, if you feel something, don't drop. That's why I was testing, okay? She's still here. Watch. 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 Yes, you use it all. I told you that before. Use it all. From here to there. You ready? Come on, you work that one. You work that one. One, two, three. Did you feel something? Did you feel something? See, sometimes you actually have to assault your audience. This is not as easy as you might think. Now, does it look like I'm coming right at you? Are my hands empty? No, I've got a head in my hands. It's a trick question. They're not empty. I've got this head in my hands. Okay, I'm going to reach in. I'm going to feel around and see if I feel... I feel a handkerchief. What color is it supposed to be? I think I feel a green handkerchief. And he's going to wave it at the audience. And I hope you're going to applaud for that. The magic handkerchief. And as a sympathy applause, he was willing to come up with that invisible hole in his hand. And use his disability for good here. Good for a lot of Give him an extra hand. He can't make that All right. Okay, shoot. Oh. You know, he's eight years old. I think that's you guys are eight, right? You're eight. Is there any other eight year old or close to him? Who's the other eight year old? Okay, good. Come on. What's your name? Paula. My name's Bruce. And how old are you really? Eight. And what do you do for a living? Yeah, I got friends like that. Don't worry about that. Tell us between things. It's rough out there. She's sending out the red things, right? The imagination button. Imaginations are very important in a magic show. You can't see imaginations. You can't feel imaginations. You hold on to the button. As the assistant, go ahead and just show it one last time. No rehearsal. Tell You're my volunteer, right? I'm calling you a volunteer. I can get around a lot of child labor laws. <laughs> Look down into the bucket. Concentrate, okay? If you concentrate now, if you really believe in your powers of imagination, everything you do, the spark that you do, you are going to see a silver coin appear <laughs> magically in the bucket. Are you ready? Concentrate. Can you see? Can you see? You know, sometimes power, it's easier to concentrate if you close your eyes. Push your eyes, concentrate. Open your eyes. Look at that. A silver coin has appeared magically. It's like witchcraft, isn't it? I think I disillusioned my volunteer. Would you take the coin? This is my fault. I forgot to hypnotize her. I saw you coming up too. They kind of threw me off the game a little bit. Just forgot to hypnotize her. I'm going to do that right now. Watch the coin. Right. Heavy. 
you're falling into it deep in that sea. Well, not the people land that so. <laughs> When they land that you, they ain't going to deep sleep. You probably know that as a kid. She's eight years old. The reason why eight years old was important is that demographic in the magic world, we've learned that those are the kids that start to develop an ear for money. Just right around that age, over across the professor group. And they don't check behind either of the ears. Silver deposits start to form there. I know, even though you've got those sparkly shoes on, and you're running, you run a lot, right? You know how I knew that? She's only eight years old, and she's developing a trick knee, a trick knee at this young age. Second or third grade. I have been second grade teacher. Oh, did you? What was your teacher asked? Yeah. I'm not kidding. You remember these things after all these years. By the time I got out of second grade, my hair had already turned silver from stress. <laughs> you might as well laugh when I think it's better. Um, I smile with those nice people in the back. I talk to them first. Smile. And do what I'm doing. Ah, this is a silver filling. <laughs> a silver filling. You want to try it? It's, silver. it's pretend, right? Pretend. Reach out and grab an imaginary pretend coin. Grab it. Act, act, act. Go ahead. Grab it. Act, act, act. Reach out. Grab it. This is not the final. This is just the show. Go ahead. You can do it. Hey, hey, this one's all right here. Okay? Hey, 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 hey. Here. Here. I'll see you right here. Reach out and grab it. Excellent. Now hold it like it's real. Hold it like it's real. Slowly drop it in the bucket. Excellent. Now, you got that together. Grab another one. Now hold on to it, act like a trio, and come back, this is your brother. See, a lot of times it's like a genetic thing, even though it's not eight years, I think you're starting to develop in your own life too. There. And the you know, give me some push or spend some shoes. It's something that puts so far on the souls to the life of the world. Anyway, hey, some kids have an Amy, some have an Audi, what do you got? An Audi, look at that, an Audi. I'm only three years old, it's stealing from me already. You got any point? You got any point? Hand it to me. Now I'm going to tell you something. I go to Las Vegas a lot just because we talk to magicians here. More than you know, in the smaller clubs, the magic shows, morning, noon, and night, seven days a week. I don't know her, but you're going to have a talk with her. She's got the fever. I see her there all the time. Hey, you have an intervention with your sister, okay? Here's her favorite game. Come out of the magic show, two in the morning, hold it by the time. It's on the other side. She has to see her there. That's a slot. Take her to the but she's no dummy. She knows if you're going to do this, you've got to hold out your big money. <laughs> Kelly, 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 get that stage name right, very important. Kelly! Okay, you're done. Come on. No, as a matter of fact, don't feel obligated. It's a small crowd here, but if anyone wants to fly over that hat, pass around. Anyone else wants to add to that? Don't feel obligated, but feel free. I can't wear a hat. Because everyone wants you to pull what out of it. All you can ever find in there is a hair. Okay, that's right, that's right. Proving I'm a magician, not a comedian. Here's the dangerous finale. I mean, there's some flammables out of the way, leave the water here. I will do this. It's a little extra. You've got to keep some new kids, little ones. I promise me you'll try this, otherwise, I've got to stop the show. Do you promise? Yeah, no, seriously, I need to hear from the kids. Because as Mr. Rogers says, can you say lawsuit? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now, if you like the magic show, this is courtesy of Everyday Circus here. They've been here since this building started when it was nothing but an open space. Uh, I love working with them. They're just because they're mainly performers, not not business people, and I just they got they got a nice setup here. Here's my dangerous finale now. My name is Bruce Divey, if you liked it. If you don't like it, my name is Bryson. You know, you get seven dollars for props. Who's ever got, who's ever named their car? You know, you get seven dollars. I think now people are doing that with their smartphones. And you spend so much time with it. Well, this candle has been with me every show for the last 150 shows. But she's moving on now. She's, she's, she's just burnt out. She's just burnt out. But she still has time for one last show. And if you say anything bad about her, like that she's not what she once she was, she will snap at you and she will goop. She's very temperamental. And this is an ordinary dinner napkin that they give away at all the restaurants. 
You don't even have to ask it. They just do the collect. A little magic spell allows you to stand up with nothing holding it up. It works the other way too, so it is. It's like witchcraft. Ready. Thank you. 